Okay, now I will just talk about the Matlab simulation and firstly I will analyze the three algorithms and the ideal and noise condition. Okay, this picture is just talk about talk about the ideal condition and uh, through analyzing this picture, you know that the BR of three algorithm is not zero when the SNR is equal to zero. Okay, here when the SNR is, is equal to zero and this three BR is not is not equal to zero. Uh, the reason is that Although there is no noise from the other side, we cannot eliminate internal noise. Uh, in addition, we notice that the BR of LS doesn't change a lot. Okay, this blue curve doesn't change a lot. And uh, the BR of LM, MSE, and, and SVT algorithms is reduced with the increase of SNR. However, the whole BR of LS algorithm is still lower than that of RMMSE and SVG algorithm. So the RS channel estimation is the best under the ideal condition. Okay, then I will talk about the noise condition and uh, through analyzing this uh, picture about the noise condition, we know that the general trend of the three algorithm is similar, which means the BR dec decreased with the increase of SNR. When the SNR is small, okay, in here, uh, the LMMSE and SVG algorithm are better than uh, uh, are better than RS algorithm. When the SNR is large, the BER of uh, SVG algorithm is a little larger than that of um, LMMSE algorithm. Even the RS algorithm, okay, <coughs> in here, okay. And uh, the reason is that the SVG channel estimation only considers the previous P orders and ignore others. However, uh, in general, the accuracy of LMMSE and SVT algorithm is similar and uh, better than the RS algorithm. Uh, the computation uh, complexity of SVT is lower than that of uh, the LMMSE algorithm. So according to the practical situation, we are able to choose the RMMSE or SVT algorithm under the noise condition. Okay, then I will just talk about the mm, talk about the anti-noise performance about this three algorithm. This this two picture is just talk about the LS algorithm. And uh, for the ideal condition, okay, this, this picture we know that the fluctuation of curve is not large with the increase of SNR. And for the noise condition, oh, okay, this picture we notice that the BER is reduced with the increase of SNR, and therefore the change of BER. Is large. Moreover, the BR of noise situation is obviously is obviously larger than that of uh, BR of ideal condition under the same SNR. So the anti-noise performance of LS channel estimation is not good. Okay, this two picture is is about the RMMRC algorithm. Compare with two this uh, with this two picture, we know that the BR of noise situation is obviously larger than percent of ideal condition under the same as uh, and condition. However, the curves of general trend are similar, which means the BER de decreased with the increase of SNR. Uh, so the anti-noise of RMMIC channel estimation is great. Finally, I will talk about the SVD algorithm about the anti-noise performance and uh, through analyzing these two picture, we know that, that the general trend of these two figures is similar. The fluctuation of ideal situation is a little larger. So when the SNR is high, there is accidentally a difference between these two curves. Okay, when the SNR is high, okay, in here, there is evident difference. Okay, and uh, uh, in general, the anti-noise performance of S V D channel estimation is good. Then I will just draw a conclusion. Through the, uh, through the analysis uh, we have discussed about, uh, we conclude that the LS channel estimation is simple and the best under ideal condition. However, when the noise is added, the, channel, uh, the estimation accuracy of LMMIC algorithm is better than LS algorithm. The anti-noise performance of LS algorithm is the worst, and the anti-noise performance of SVD channel estimation is between the RS and the RMMRC and the RMMRC algorithm is the best. 
In the practical application, the influence of noise is unavoidable and therefore we are able to make a trade-off between the RMMSE and SVG algorithm according to the channel estimation uh, accuracy and the uh, uh, calculation complexity. Okay, finally, I will talk about my future work. In the, math, in the MATLAB, I just used the block palette to be inserted, which is supposed to be uh, to the slow change of channel. However, in the practical application, most of channels change at a faster speed. So the comb palette is more simple to be inserted. Uh, after we get the channel estimation at the pilot position, we also need to get the information at other positions by interpolation algorithms. Different interpolation algorithms will lead to different accuracy of channel estimation. So the future work is to study the various interpolation algorithms and uh, to guide the good accuracy of channel estimation. Okay, I have finished my uh, PPT, then I will explain my MATLAB, MATLAB code. Okay, here is just the, the uh, primary setting and uh, the carrier frequency is 2 GHz and the final weight is 1, 1 amperes and the number of subcarriers is 128 and the length of cycle the prefix is 16 and the modulation method is 16 QM and the maximum Doppler frequency is 132 Hz and uh, I just insert the block palette. Okay, here I just uh, I just uh, do the mapping, and after mapping, I just uh, insert. Okay, in here I just insert the block palette, and uh, okay, in here I just do the one to eight points at at G to complete the uh, OFDM modulation, and after that I just insert the cyclic prefix. Okay, this uh this code is just about the OFDM simple symbols plus the frequency selective multipass channel and uh, here this code is just is just to add the uh, uh, gauss west noise for the OFDM symbol and uh, after adding the noise and uh, we just okay here we just remove the cycle prefix and uh, do the one to eight points at G to complete the OFDM modulation and in here we just do the and estimation about these three algorithms and uh, then okay, in here uh, we just do the t mapping and finally just compute the RBs of received signal. Okay, then I will just run this code and uh, show the full picture about the ideal condition. Maybe it will take a longer time to run this code. Okay, this is for a picture about the ideal condition. And uh, this one is the comparison about these three algorithms. And this one is about the LS results to the uh, noise. And this one is about the LMMIC without noise. And uh, this one is about the LSVD without noise. Then I, uh, I will need to change a little code and uh, to show the noise condition.
Okay, this four figure is about the noise condition, and uh, this one is about the comparison of the three algorithms. And this one is the LMM SE with noise, and this one is about the RS with noise, and this one is about the uh, RSVD with noise. Okay. Okay, now I, I have finished my uh, presentation and uh, thank you for your listening.